Hi everyone, Nicholas Barfidis here from the Junior Senior School here in sunny Cyprus and today we're starting off with the first in a series of video tutorials all about Dreamweaver. Now, primarily this course or this video is designed for students that are going to be taking the Cambridge ICT IGCSE examination code 0417 and this is the unit on web design. So at Junior Senior School, we use Dreamweaver for this component, the practical component. And this particular video is all about just setting up Dreamweaver so you set it up correctly. Because if you do click something by accident or move something and it's not working the way it should do or looking the way it should do, this could confuse you. So it's good to be able to know how to set up the interface the way that you're used to working with it. Here I've got Dreamweaver, the setup, as it is, as soon as it is installed. So this is a fresh installation of Dreamweaver. I've gone through the basic process, but you will never ever need to do that. And this is a version 21.2, so it's the latest version currently. Okay, so we're going to get started straight away with setting Dreamweaver up for both working with HTML, in other words, web pages, and CSS style sheets. So let's get started with this. I always begin by starting a new HTML file. So I'm going to go to File, New. Start the new HTML file. I don't need to save this. I just want to set uh, my interface up so that it is the way I'm going to be using when I'm going to be using HTML files. So I'm just going to get rid of these tips here. Let's just close that. Don't need that. Okay, so first of all, I'm not going to explain what we can see and what we can't see. I'm just going to go straight into setting this up. So first, this is in split live view. We see we've got a horizontal split. I personally prefer a vertical split. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to view, go to split. And then from here, instead of split horizontal, which is ticked, we're going to remove that tick and put it on split vertically. Next, I want to bring the coding section to the left and have the WYSIWYG to the right. So let's do that. We're going to go to View, Split, and I want View on left. No, let's get rid of that, and that should put View on right. There we go. That's the first part. Now I'm just going to adjust the size of the split here. So I'm just going to make that coding section a bit less, giving me more space over here. The next part is this bit here. So if you click on code, that will show you a full screen of code. If you click on split, that will show you the code and the WYSIWYG. Now this part here live, we don't want to be working on live because we haven't got our web page or our website linked with some kind of server. So we don't want to see it as it is live. I want to put this on design view and it's very important you do this because it really does affect the way um, Dreamweaver works when you're actually trying to modify your web page through the WYSIWYG. The WYSIWYG is this window here, this big window here, and it basically stands for what you see is what you get. Okay, so that's the first part. The next thing I want my properties bar at the bottom. So I'm going to go to window, uh, make sure I'm going to get rid of all of these things that I don't need, like this DOM thing here. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go to window, and what I do want is properties. There it is there. And I want to snap this window at the bottom. So I'm just going to grab this by its title bar here, drag it down slowly until the, the line at the bottom turns blue. There you go. Can you see it turn blue? That means it's going to snap into position when I let go. Here we go. There's my properties bar now. Nicely uh, fitting at the bottom. Okay. On the right hand side, we've got here our CSS designer. We're going to need this, this little button here. We're going to need this when we're working with CSS style sheets. But the rest of these I don't really need. Now, if you do need them, you do want them, that's absolutely fine. But I'm just going to show you how I have things set up. So the next part is I'm going to right click on all of these and just close them. I don't want any of these here. So I'm just going to right click on all of these. In fact, I'm going to right click on the files maybe if you want to leave it so you can find your files quickly. Fine. I'm going to right click on that, get rid of that and get rid of that. Now, personally, I get rid of this as well. The reason why sometimes it does actually confuse um, when you've actually clicked here by accident and then you're looking for your designer, your CSS designer, and sometimes students just can't see it. So I'm just going to get rid of that as well. So all I've got here is my designer. Now I'm going to drag this just a little bit over here. Okay. And as I do, can you see now on the right hand side, the properties area here, 
has maximized. If I drag this and make it smaller, this area here, it's going to actually put the properties down here. So first off, I'm just going to move these things here, media selectors and all of that. I'm just going to slowly select these and drag these up. Just give them a small space between them. So there you go. You can see my mouse changing shape there. There we go. And I'm going to drag my properties up as well. There you go. And I'm going to give the majority of the space to the properties. Now, ideally, I want the properties to take the whole height of the screen. So if I do this and drag this over, oh, there we go, go carefully. There we go. That snapped my properties over. And that's basically my setup. Now, you're going to say, well, that's not leaving me a lot of space for my HTML design. Well, you're absolutely right there. So what I'm going to do, I don't need the CSS uh, designer when I'm working on the HTML files. So I'm just going to click on the little double arrow up here in the top right corner. And that's just going to collapse that designer. In fact, I'm just going to move this even further so it takes up the minimum amount of space. And that's my setup for Dreamweaver. Now, because this is a new setup and I want it to keep this setup, I'm going to go to Window workspace layout and i'm going to save the current there we go and that's all i need for this now if i close this and i start a new css new style sheet now this css style sheet i'm going to click on create you can see i've got the whole window here for my css code which i don't really need the whole window but by clicking here on this little double arrow here where we collapsed our CSS designer, you can see now this is all ready to go, ready for me to add my first selector, my first tag. So if I wanted to add the H1 tag, I've got my selector here. I'm gonna do my H1 tag, press enter and enter. And now you can see here my properties, let's get rid of this, will all display here. Now I don't see any properties, because I've got this little tick here, show set. That basically means it's only showing the properties for the H1 tag, which I'm using. And I'm not using any right now. In fact, I want to see all the possible properties so I can choose the ones I want. So I need to make sure I remove that tick. There you go. And now you can see the properties here take up this whole space, this whole vertical space on the side of my screen making it much easier to navigate and see. Now, if you do need more space, you can obviously squish this a little bit like that, and you've got your properties here, okay? That's essentially it, guys. That's setting up your Dreamweaver interface so that it works best for you the way that you're used to using it, especially at school, if you're at the junior, senior school. And this works really, really well. So the idea is if I've got a HTML file open as well, so there's my HTML file, create, so now, when I'm working on my HTML file here, I can collapse this using this little double arrow, giving me the maximum space for my design. I can obviously shift the split left and right, depending on my needs, okay? And then when I'm working on my CSS code over here, I can expand this and I've got the maximum area for those properties. That's it, guys, a short video there for you setting up the interface for Dreamweaver. Uh, make sure you, you get used to modifying these settings because if you do change something by accident, for example, you click on window and you remove the CSS designer by, by accident, you should be able to bring it back very easily. If you do, if you're in the, let's say in the web page part, let's just get rid of that, and you've accidentally snapped this out, you should be able to snap it back in again if if you want to, or even if you close it by accident, you should know now to go to window and just click on properties and that will bring it back and you should be able to snap it back into place. Okay, I'm going to follow up in the next video and that's going to be all about creating a style sheet. I like working the other way around. We're going to learn how to create style sheets based on a, on a HTML file template, which I will use. And then the other videos obviously are going to be all about HTML and then solving some past papers. Take care and good luck.